Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Caddy for the Everyday Guys. So we've got a lot to get to in this video. Firstly, I'm going to talk you through what I'm considering as my new Everyday Caddy backpack. I'm going to do a full review on it, explaining and showing what I have inside it. Then I'm going to outline the details of how you can win said backpack, right? This is from Global Phalanx and Kinetic Solutions. Then I'm going to give away a full trauma kit so this trauma kit guys is worth over four and a half thousand bucks if you have entered and you are lucky enough to win it um you are really really fortunate that's all gonna happen in this video guys if you're watching this on instagram you're gonna have to switch over to youtube the link is in my bio to this video because it's gonna be longer than 15 minutes and instagram doesn't really allow for videos longer than that so let's start off on my new EDC backpack. So this pack is from the guys at Global Phalanx and Genetic Solutions. They designed it. It is a local South African product, which makes me really proud. It's time we start buying local. It is a sling bag. Very, very cool. I'm going to take you through everything I have in it and everything I like about it. One of the main deals I like about sling bags is that they don't come with waist straps, which means you don't have to faff, faff about... Um, with them if you need to go for your firearm i carry in the appendix position so i like and even if i do get a bag with waist straps i never tie it because it stuffs up my draw stroke now people are gonna ask why i'm not running my uh, vertex commuter sling guys this is a really awesome pack make no bones about it but i don't know since i got this pack uh, from the guys at global phalanx I decked it out to the things I needed and I find myself going to this one more than I find myself going to this one. I only ever really go for the commuter sling when I make use of the really cool um, quick access off body carry section. So if I'm not going to carry on body then I'll definitely go with the commuter sling but I carry on body 99.9% .9 of the time and and in reality, I found myself not using this pack 99.9% .9 of the time. So, this pack. I'm going to switch to a top-down view in a second and show you exactly how I have my pack set up, exactly what's in it and what I use it for. The reason I also like this pack is because you can use it while it's on your body. And that's really, really important. If you've ever done any kind of training that involves nighttime medical operations, things get lost so quickly. And if you've got a, 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 a normal traditional backpack and you want to get to your gear, you've got to sling that, guy, that thing off your back, put it on the ground, um, access it. And if you have to run from victim to victim or person helping is on two different places, you're helping two different people, you now have to put the pack back on your back and move to the second person. With this pack, it basically goes on your back and you sling it around, you open it up and it stays right here. If you now need to run, everything is right in front of you, nothing falls out of this pack. It's really well designed and as you'll see in a second, um, can hold way more gear than what it looks like. So let's switch to the top down view and I'll take you through this pack. Okay guys, so this is the empty pack that we're giving away. And this is my pack. So I'm going to take you through my pack, explaining what I have in it, why I have what I have in it. And I'm also going to take you through the pack itself. So first of all, you do obviously get a very comfortable single sling, which is vented and padded. The back is also vented and padded. Very, very nice. And then your sling can be attached at two different attachment options. This just comes loose so you can attach it uh, straight at the bottom or you can attach sort of offset to the side which is where I carry it because that just seems to be more comfortable for me very comfortable pack to carry then you've got three compartments on the pack you can potentially win the first compartment which is a single zipped compartment then you get the second compartment which is your main compartment that has two zips and then you have a hidden compartment um, with a zip that sort of goes into a pocket sorry doing the top down thing for the first time so so just work with me zip that goes into a pocket that's sort of like your hidden security compartment okay let's get into the front compartment obviously also you've got your your um, soft velcro 
on the front for your gear and morale patches. Okay, so let's get to the first section. In the front, we have, I've sort of dedicated this section to, I don't want to call it airway, but to, to breathing and, and oxygenation and that sort of thing. So we have two, let's just get this neatly, we have a twin pack vented chest seal. Uh, that's obviously for your um, sucking chest wounds. We have some Z pack uh, dressing that is non hemostatic. And then we've got an NPA. Basically, you'd use this if I haven't explained it before. If someone is having a, if someone has sort of a block airway, you'd insert this. Now, I'm going to talk about this packaging a bit more because I haven't taken this out of the packaging specifically for this demo. So we'll talk about that a bit more as we go on. Then we have some medical tape. And what we've got here is a needle decompression kit. So basically, you're going to use this in the event of uh, someone's lung collapsing basically pressure would build up between the lung and the, th and the thoracic cavity and that would basically push the lung over to your heart and vital organs in the center of your chest and that's when you'd use a needle decompression kit so you've got your needle catheter here this is still in the packaging but i have packaged it in such a way that it's easily openable and then you've got a one-way flutter valve here to ensure that uh, air doesn't just basically flow back in which defeats the purpose of having a needle decomp done guys the needle decompression uh, don't do that if you don't know how to do that okay it's really important that's not a basic skill uh, so if you don't know how to do that don't don't do it and then just some um, medical tape which is sticky if i do have to do a needle decompression i'm going to want to wrap this nicely so it doesn't get pushed around and moved in case the patient or the victim needs to be moved i'm not going to say victim because i'm not a medic i'm not going to be dealing with patients i'm going to be dealing with victims in case they need to be moved so then that's when this would come into play um, i'd want to wrap that nicely and then we have nitrate gloves and an emergency blanket emergency blanket guys you can get hypothermic even in warmer climates hypothermic it's in with blood loss and we're probably going to be dealing with something like that if we're inside this kit uh, gloves i'm going to be honest if it's someone i don't know i'm probably going to use them if it's like someone like michelle a family member someone i know love that sort of thing i'm going to dive in there full disclosure i know it's not proper practice but the reality is i'm gonna save seconds if it's someone like michelle i'm gonna completely unpack the bag and then repack it for you and then here in the center there's like a center pocket here some safety pins and a very fine uh, tweezer cutter type situation and then a male grooming kit or a grooming kit with a tweezer the reason I have this is literally just for convenience. Oh, and there's also a, there's also a, get out of here. This middle section, guys, not for emergency. Well, this, this middle section over here, that is the stuff, definitely emergency. This is for convenience. Also have a nail clip in here. Um, the reason I have this is it's, it's often overlooked, but these are the kinds of things you'd use probably more often than anything else, right? And, and not having something like this can really ruin your day or make your day super long there was a once i had a metal filing caught in my finger for an entire day that was a long day and that's actually the reason i bought this little uh grooming kit it's i wouldn't say it's a male grooming kit, it's probably female grooming kit but it does come in handy and i mean not everything has to be tactical this work bag as i've said i've been using it almost as my edc pack so i do want some of these little conveniences with me just in case i get a splint in my finger or a nail gets caught on somewhere and need to cut it that's what that's for. The rest of the stuff that was in this front pouch is emergency. So the front pouch, as you see it, you've got a Velcro pocket here, which is where I had my emergency blanket. You have this like a middle pen pocket almost, which is where I had the grooming kit. And then you've got another pocket right here, also Velcro, which is where I had my needle decomp kit and bandaging, uh, yeah, sticky bandaging. And then in the front section here is where I had my Z pack and my chest seals as well as my npa so guys that is the first section let's move on to the second section this is a double zipped section so you can open it uh, like that or like that and let's get to this remember guys i said i was using it as my edc pack so in here we are going to have some hand sanitizer 
um, and then also my inhaler I am an as asthmatic okay let's start off on the back end yeah let's start off here so in the back end we have my salox and you'll see with all these things guys i have it taped where the tear would be right so i have something to grip onto if i do want to if my hands are wet here it's nighttime whatever the case may be you do sometimes struggle to grip onto these things so my salox rapid this is a one inch five foot gauze this is a hemostatic gauze will stop your arterial bleeding in 60 seconds if not just repeat and it'll um, sort out that arterial bleed and then it just have some dressing um, often when using salox you want to clear out as much blood as you can before applying the gauze then we've got our emergency bandage this is basically a um, israeli bandage israeli bandage this is an open one i just thought i'd show you what it is basically guys an israeli bandage all it really is just get this guy open all the israeli, israeli bandage really is is a bandage with a pad this is a sterile pad which my camera refused to focus on uh, sterile pad at the back it has a pressure applicator and in the center it's got a closure bar basically you wrap it around once put it through the pressure applicator wrap it in the opposite direction and that applies a degree of pressure not a lot of pressure it's not a tourniquet just applies pressure so what i would do is i would often use this which is this in conjunction with this after applying it just to add pressure to it and to maintain that pressure once the bleeding has stopped that's what it, that's the emergency bandage now what we've got here is an OLS or OLS, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly. Olias um, modular bandage. It's like an Israeli bandage, but the difference is instead of, so you, you have this piece here as well. I'll just put it to the side so my camera stays focused. But inside, on, inside this piece, you'd actually be able to open that up. And you'd be able to take out some wound dressing as well as a um, occlusive chest. I I'm not going to say chest seal. It's basically a piece of plastic that can be used as a chest seal. That's what it's supposed to be used for. And you can use it as it, but you can require some skill. And then instead of having this pressure applicator, it's got like a, like a pressure cup. You basically put this side down onto the wound and that cup goes inwards. You can also put it in the opposite end to use as an eye cup, as an eye protector. So it's just, it's, you know what, it's a nicer Israeli bandage. That's effectively what this is. Okay, and then in the corner here, we've got some more packing. Okay, and then onto the side. Now the cool thing here, guys, as I said, is this is all removable. Every single piece of this is removable. You can take it out and position all these uh, holders as you want. I'll show you in a second. Okay, on this side, we have... An Olight Parent 2 on a headband. Guys, light is so important. I found out on my training course how important light was and being able to work hands-free is really, really useful. When I say work hands-free, I mean working without having to hold a light in your hand. Really useful. It doesn't even have to be that dark, but when it comes to blood, blood shadow, that sort of thing, you don't know what you're touching anymore. Is it red? Is it water? Is it urine? Could be anything. You know, so the ability to see it um, is so important. And the reason I like the pairing is because it's a very low candela flashlight, but high lumen, you're looking at about two and a half, is it two and a half thousand lumen? So you're getting very high uh, light output, but it, because it's low candela, it doesn't have a lot of color washouts with good color rendition. So you can see the difference between red blood and not red blood. So Olight Parent 2 on a headband. We then have a... Uh, combat application tourniquet properly staged now we also have a recon medical tourniquet and this one is in the pouch with my trauma shears and pen pen eh, it's just something to have but i mean it's not not the end of the world if you don't um the reason i have that like this is because if i know i'm going to if i assess my situation and now i'm going to have to remove clothing i go for this tourniquet because it's got a trauma shears with it i pull it both out and i go to work and that's that section right and then in the back here there is another section to open that up right 
this section is just for me personally like personal boo-boos um, so let's go to it we've got some burn shield we got some plasters that sort of thing uh, we've got some sterile wipes all in there and then here we have our sachets we've got the rehydrate we've got smecta we've got med lemons that sort of thing um, and then we have some more plasters some more alcohol pads an extra set of gloves and then my tablets uh, basically what we've got here is uh, citrazine this is for allergic reactions we've got iospasmal for stomach issues we've got adcadol i'm a very headachey person i get a lot of headaches and we've got gaviscon and we all know what gaviscon is used for so guys those are the main two pouches right and as I said, I'll show you in the in the the one I'm giving away. I open this up. These compartments are all removable. So some of them are like this, where you can adjust the size so it can fit something huge. Right? And then others are like this which is elasticated so you can adjust the size to a degree they all have the sticky velcro on the back and then you also get three of these which is like padded compartments you could put like a mag or whatever into there and these stick in so you can really kit this pack out however you want it kitted out which i think is really really cool okay and then there is one more compartment that i run and this is just for the sake of convenience um wet wipes because i have a girlfriend and you can see how little there is in here so this has been used so definitely valid to have because i have been using it flosses because um, nothing is more annoying than having something in a tooth that can't get out uh, power cable this is a power tech power cable and this is the um, head so you can charge pretty much anything with this power cable using one of these heads and um, you're good to go so guys like i said i've been using this pack as my edc backpack and as you can see this small pouch holds a lot of gear right i mean this is a substantial amount of kit that we have here that this pouch is able to hold so and the nice part of it is it's super compact if you don't want to use it as your edc backpack if you need to hold something bigger you can just chuck it in your car whatever the case may be and you're going to be good to go so i'll flip the screen we'll talk about it some more talk about how you can win it and I'll also do the giveaway for for the other pack so uh, let's flip the screen and have a chat so guys as you saw it holds way more than what you'd think and that's pretty much why this is now my edc backpack it's light it doesn't look too 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 tactical it's not showy and it has everything i need i kind of found that 90% of the time, the reason I carry my EDC backpack is for the, for the medical stuff. So I have my medical stuff in it, right? And, um, you know, I'm not someone who will take a laptop with me if I don't need a laptop. So if I need a bigger EDC pack, like, and I need my laptop or I need other electrical devices or whatever the case may be, then I'll switch to my, my Vertex commuter sling. But in the month or so I've had this, it's pretty much been my daily run and I've not really found myself wanting. Now... How can you win a pack like this? As I said, the guys at Global Phalanx were kind enough to send me two. The way you win it is quite simple. It's going to be a Facebook run competition mainly. So what you're going to do is on Facebook, I'll leave links, direct links to the, the, the entry links down below. Um, go to Global Phalanx page. You'll see the link down below where they have this video posted. The thumbnail will look like this, right? On that uh, thumbnail, comment by tagging two friends. And then obviously follow Global Phalanx. Do the exact same thing with Kinetic Solutions. Go to this post where the thumbnail looks like this. Uh, follow them and comment on the post by tagging two friends. What the guys at Global Phalanx and Kinetic Solutions will then do is they'll check the names. I'm going to run this competition for two weeks. So two weeks from today, what is the date today? It is the 2nd of may two weeks from today i'm going to announce the winner of the competition i would really jump on that if i were you this pack costs i 
think just under a thousand bucks which is a very good price for the pack on the whole even if you don't win it right really good price and as i said it's become my edc pack but if you have an edc pack that you prefer to run something like this is really cool to keep in your car um if someone's going hiking you know maybe if, if we, when we go hiking generally then i will carry most of the, the gear and michelle will just carry foodstuffs you know it could be used where your partner would carry this small pack with all the medical gear in and you'd have more space in your bag to carry whatever else you may want to carry. So it's a very cool option and I think it's really, really well designed. Just a few things that I didn't mention in the overview is the pack has these uh, hanging pull tab type deals on both sides and the main strap has a quick detach clip. But for me, guys, personally, the main deal with this pack is the way it's set up or the way you can set it up to suit your own needs. The fact that when you open it, nothing falls out. It's like one of those, I don't know, it's that Kadura material. Really, really rugged, really, really well built. When you get your hands in this, I mean, look at the width of this YKK zip. It's freaking, it's robust. If you ever get your hands in this, you understand what I'm talking about. It's something that you have to feel to understand. So very cool and as i said it's local it's South african so let's support the local guys okay guys let's now get to my random name picker application where i'm going to outline or not outline where i'm going to give away this pack the this pack as i said the contents you're looking at over four and a half thousand rands worth of medical gear really if you do, if you don't have anything you pretty much all you need is this and you're going to solve a lot of problems in your medical uh, life guys i do just want to add all the video everything you've seen on this video of uh, medical uh, procedures all done with me all done by me excuse me while i was training so it's not footage taken from anywhere else youtube is funky about that sort of thing it's me doing it okay let's switch to my pc and give that back away okay guys those of you who follow my channel will be familiar with the wheel of names it is a random name picker application i use to select winners for competitions first click this is going to generate the first name this is our first place winner who will get the prize if he or she is eligible and contact me within 24 hours so the first place winner is um supposing that's well it's ysf suleiman so well done to you ysf suleiman um, maybe it's yusuf i'm not sure so you win the prize if you are eligible and do contact me within 24 hours the second place winner who wins the prize if the first place winner isn't available or sorry isn't eligible is going to be danik Van, Danik van Wijk, I'm assuming. Um, so, well done to you guys. I'll flip the screen. We'll end off. Remember, guys, you have 24 hours in which to contact me at edc for the edg at gmail.com to claim that awesome 4,500 rand valued uh, trauma kit. So, well done to those winners. Congratulations. You've won yourself some really, really awesome gear. Remember, you've got 24 hours in which to contact me. That's 24 hours from 6 p.m. on Sunday, the 2nd of May. So 6 p.m. Sunday, 3rd of May, your time is up and it goes to second place winner, if a second place winner does contact me. And um, guys, remember to enter the competition by this, by heading over to Global Phalanx Instagram page, following and commenting on this post by tagging two friends and doing the same thing on Kinetic Solutions. So not Instagram page, Facebook page, and doing the same thing on Kinetic Solutions Facebook page. It's going to be a mainly Facebook run competition. And um, then we'll keep this pack away in about two weeks time. So guys, that's my new EDC backpack. And that's how I run. That's how I have it set up. If you ever see me out in the world, chance all this pack is with me. So um, if anything goes down, feel free to ask me for assistance and I'll do my best to help you out. That is it, guys. Have a good week. Be safe. Train hard. Cheers. God bless.